Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Go to f2bbs.com. www.f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. That's right, guys. I want you to go to www.f2bbs.com. That's right. I want you to go there. You can, uh, this is a, a great site to fight against all sorts of nasty and nastiness by posting on f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. Go there, guys. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. Today guys, I want to talk about, I want to talk about collections, wristwatch collections, and especially Rolex wristwatch collections. And I got it, before we do this, this video, let's do a quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Rolex Submariner, this is the new 41 mil. It's the 126610 LN, this is the black on black. And it's the new, the new 41 mil delight. Okay, guys, I want to talk to you about wrist Rolex collectors and watch collectors. And I got to tell you, when many, many years ago, 20 years ago, late 90s, <clears throat> I had a Rolex collection. I had a date eight, 18238 diamond dial, sub 16610. That was actually the print. That's the only. That was my last sub date I had actually because I owned a two tone later, but that was the, the now I've got the, the sub date again. I had a 16570 Polar Explorer 2, a 16013 two tone date just, and a 16800 beta. That was a Submariner date beta. And at the time, so I had five Rolex, five Rolex. People would say, why would you do that? I mean, Rolex is what they'd say. Rolex is a good brand, but five? Why don't you get like an IWC or a Breitling or a JJ LeCout? That's where the sophisticated collectors went. If you wanted to have multiples, Pam, Panerai. In fact, I would say the first brand where it became fashionable to have multiple co a collection with one brand was Pam. Pam kind of pioneered that for many people. And if you had multiple Rolexes, people would say, oh, why would you do that? In the late 90s, I was a member of Turfers, New Turfers, that's the ultimate Rolex forum and then it became new turfers uh, it's now defunct it's now defunct and and I remember a lot of the people on new turfers were saying you know we're kind of a bit odd we're kind of you know we're, we're multi Rolex collectors and how the worm has turned how the worm has turned and I gotta say you know even when Panerai people were collecting multiple Panerais the average person had one or two or three Panerais. They didn't have like five to ten of the buggers. And what you're finding now, what you're finding now is a lot of people are going crazy with the Rolex. <clears throat> like I, I do a, a live stream on the Archie Luxury Corporate channel. If you look at my other channels, Archie Luxury Corporate, I do a daily live stream. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link in the corner, if I remember. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, um, I got a guy on there, Jeff. Jeff's a successful, successful guy uh, in the real estate business. Um, uh, and Jeff himself, five Rolex, five Rolex, five Rolex. It's pretty good collection. Five Rolex. Two two tones. He's, he's, he's got some amazing pieces. He's got a two tone sub black ceramic, two tone Yachtmaster rose gold and steel black dial. He's got a sub no date steel. He's got a date just 41 blue dial. 
and he's also got a Batgirl. Five magnificent pieces. Really serious collection. Then I got a guy called Plastic. Plastic. Five Rolexes. He's got a no, uh, a date sub ceramic, pre ceramic bluesy two tone sub. He's got a black, black, black GMT ceramic. GM, that's that. He's got a two tone <clears throat> date just 41 with diamond dial and a Daytona. Pre ceramic. Five very decent pieces. Okay, his wife wears the date just, but five decent roli. These people aren't super, super enthusiastic. Well, I suppose they are enthusiasts. They love their Rolex, but I, I suppose they love their Rolex. They do love Rolex, yes, but they're not kind of... How do I put this? They, they, they're not as... They're not as... Um, they haven't spent as much time watch collecting as I have. They they, they, they tend to be middle-aged guys who are using uh, a HELOC, Home Equity Line of Credit, because in, in Australia, house prices have really risen. So if you bought a house long enough ago, you've got equity, tap into it with the HELOC, 2% money. And that's kind of what's happening there. That's, that's kind of what is absolutely happening. So, you know, to have five Rolex, I mean, that's, 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 Going back 20 years ago, that was unheard of. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Now, I wouldn't say it's no big deal, because it is a big deal, but it's nowhere near as magnificent as it used to be. And I suppose the big thing is we've never been so rich. We have never in history had so much money. And that's true. We, we've never been this wealthy. And I get it. I get it. I get it. We've never been this wealthy. And I suppose, what do you, what do you buy? You, you want to buy things that give you pleasure. I suppose Rolex, Rolex does make you happy. But have watches, I, I, I must admit, yeah. So it's, it's kind of strange, you know. Many years ago, I had the Archie 5. Everyone said, oh, that's an amazing collection. Now, it's kind of, it's still impressive, but it's not as amazing as it used to be. And especially with Rolex, it's getting so hard to get anything. I mean, they used to be available. They were, they, they were available. Now, the worm has really turned the worm has turned the worm has turned and um, this is this is this is the new reality so so you know we've never been so wealthy collections are growing collections are growing and I mean I, I've, I've gone in, in, into paddocks 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 are expensive paddocks expensive expensive. Definitely, Paddock Philippe. They are expensive watches. They're not. They're not for poor people. <clears throat> I never buy new. <clears throat> I, I I buy pre-owned. I've got dealers. I bought my, my 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 watches off. And this is the 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 ta the ta changing environment that we're in. So instead of somebody having you know, two or three good watches, two of them might be a Rolex. Now we've got five Rolex, five Rolex. And this is pretty amazing times, absolutely amazing times. And um, 
I mean, obviously, these guys, massive egos. Massive egos. They've got massive... Um, Good on them. If, if if these watches make you happy, man, I I totally I totally I totally um, agree. I don't know how many do you need. I mean, I mean, I, you could go one and done. Rolex sub, you could be done. That's all you need. It's sort of how many of these things do you seriously need? That is a very good question. But uh, we've never. It's never. It's never been harder to get. But people seem to have so damn many. And uh, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Is hard hard to say. Hard to say. I mean, I, I kind of um, I'm a bit sick of the the hoarding and the you know the the nastiness that goes on with with collecting these sort of things. People it pushes people to not really nice things. You know it. it it's um, it's it's a weird thing to explain, but we the world has never been so rich, but we're all really nasty and vicious. Tell me what you think, guys. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, put a few comments there, good, bad, or otherwise, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. The Rolex Submarina Date, probably the most versatile, the most famous, the most wanted watch of 2020. The Rolex Submarina, absolutely stunning. I've gone for the steel model. I wanted something that could be worn every day. The businessman's delight. Look at the side profile. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. I've got to tell you, I am in love with this Submariner. Black on black, does it get any, any better? Black on black, the Rolex Submariner. This is what the, the, this is just such a beautiful, look at the, I got to tell you, the maxi, the, just the whole thing, this whole thing is everything. The ceramic sub should have been from day one. Absolutely winner, winner, chicken, chicken dinner. Absolutely. And it's got the new clasp with the glide lock for easy adjustments. Absolutely winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. In Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.